here in the Fall Nationals. This is what you saved your lunch money for. To the green. Field going to race off into turns one and two right now. Battle at the front of the field between Cummins and Danner. Danner turning it down under the before the race lead as we've got one flipping wildly on the back straightaway. Two cars end up collected. Red lights come on. It's like C.J. Leary and Saban Bybent, the two drivers, coming to a rest of the back straightaway, but Leary didn't see how it started. Just all of a sudden, the car flipping violently end over end. So getting a look at the replay here on Flow Racing. Contact down the back straightaway and just started flipping end over end. As Drake mentioned the tail tank did come loose as they have it in the net here, and they will hoist it up and clear it from the scene. It's Robert Ballou trying to get the Hoosier trifecta presented by NOS Energy Drink. Keep an eye on him as we go back to green. Oh, breaks Danner, just bunny hopped her, and it turns one and two upside down and into the wall. Clean start, races it in, and unfortunately, she gets to hopping, and the concrete's what brings it to a stop, but he is up and out of the car, race fans. Round of the NOS Energy Star Can, here we go. Logan Seavey going to throw caution to the wind on the high side, entering turn number one. It's going to pay off onto the back straightaway, able to turn to the inside of the Avante Windows. The doors number three moves up into second. They are going to chase the 19 around here on lap number one. Field going to make their way around to click off lap number one. Mitchell Moles leading. Here comes CB once again. Takes it high, tries to dive it low. Instead, onto the back bumper of your leader. Going to pull the trigger on the slide into turns three and four. Backs are up to the cushion. Takes a little bit of a grab on it. Thought it was going to turn the car, but he comes around to lead the way. Logan Seavey leads lap number two. Mitchell Moles trying back to his inside, not able to get the run. Mitchell Moles still running in that second spot. Jason Persley running in third and trying to reel him in. As your leader continues to quickly put away lap cars, he has gone by the 76 of J.J. Hughes. Hughes currently being shown in the 13th position. Clears the 2X. He has lapped up to 11. Battle for second. Jason Persley closing up on Mitchell Moles this time into turns three and four. Going to thread to the middle. Can't carry enough momentum to get by. Goes right back into the tire tracks of the 19. Both drivers working by the three R. Kevin Thomas Jr. once again. Persley takes it up over the cushion on the entry of one. Has to wait in the car. The exit to number two. Kind of gets caught in the middle there. See the rear end kind of raise up and then settle back in about midpoint of the back straightaway. The left rear is the only thing holding him on the cushion over in turns three and four. As they continue to jockey through slower traffic, the race for second is high-speed chess right now. And so far, the driver making the right moves is Mitchell Moles. Pursley still there, stalking those. They work around to the front side of the speedway. Has not been enough to allow Kyle Cummins to try to close in and see if he can contend for it, though, as he rides about a straightaway back from that battle. The 5S of Chase Stock in the 69 of Brady Bacon continue to round up your top six. Grant, Ballou, Gray, and Rogers. Still running out your top ten. White flag coming this time. As he will have clean racetrack in front of him for the time being. He'll work off a turn at number four. The lab coat's going to fly. Finding turns one and two for the final time. The Mesilla Valley Transportation. Mountain Mechanical Contractors. Abacus Racing number 57 going to roll into turns three and four. And for the 14th time this season with the USAC Amsoil Sprint Car National Championship, Logan Seavey's going to victory lane, and he will claim a $20,000 payday here in the Fall Nationals. He's going to crawl up out of the car. $20,000 richer. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Logan Seavey. Logan Seavey has been chasing this for what seems like so long. The time has finally come, tying Tom Bigelow for the most Amsoil USAC National Sprint Car feature victories in a single season. 2024, that's 14 wins in this year. Logan, ever since that stat became relevant just back in June, July, August, how much pressure have you been carrying over your head knowing that it was just just out of reach for, the, for so long? Yeah, like I said, we got to 13, I feel like really fast and then I don't know it's been like 10 or 12 races since since we've won and that feels like a, a lifetime but um, that's just sprint car racing these you sat guys are tough and um, man my guys have been doing a great job and I feel like I've put myself in positions at times and run a few ra bad races as well so um, yeah you just get on a run like that and everything's just going magnificent and everything's falling into our laps and and then yeah we have 10 races where um, our cars are still fast and you know however it may happen just I don't make the right moves or or whatever it may be, just shows how hard these races are to win. So, um, yeah, no uh, no lack of effort from these guys. 
Um, like you said, once that stat became, you know, talked about, it was kind of in, in the back of my head, but I try not to try not to think about it. I just uh, really just like to win these races, and I try to do my best to win them, and it uh, sure makes it a lot sweeter to have 20 grand here at Lawrenceburg. So thanks for everybody for, for putting that on. Last night, kind of married to the top side of the racetrack, but it wasn't really paying dividends. Tonight, was it quite the contrary? Yeah, I guess you could say live and die by the top, and it killed me last night, but uh, it sure paid off tonight. So, yeah, I, uh, so rough into one all weekend. I, I kind of got in above it there for, you know, five or ten laps and made a bunch of speed, and it got really ledgy, and I got to traffic and, and wasn't trusting it as much, and I feel like those last ten laps or so I felt really slow, but uh, I knew if I could just keep putting lap cars away, you know, every, every lap or two we'd be in good shape, so... Just can't say enough about these guys, this whole Abacus Racing team. This is this is really cool. So, um, yeah, Ronnie Kirk, Daniel, Tebow, and Liam, Chad, Missy, everybody that works on this thing. Um, I just uh, can't thank them enough, all these partners. Uh, I know we get new ones all the time, but Messiah Valley Transportation, this car changes every week. But, um, you know, they come on board. Uh, I've got a lot, of, a lot of friends and family and, and partners and, um, you know, everybody that's watching back home. I know uh, Jeff Taylor's watching. I know uh, Brent's mad. He probably can't be here. So we're going to have a great time tonight. Um, Hate to not mention Chris Harvey. I know he's watching. I sucked last night, but I got it done tonight, bud. So, um, yeah, just uh, happy to get all these guys in victory line. I know they're really stoked. Logan CV picks up the 2024 edition of the Fall Nationals at Lawrenceburg Speedway. He is $20,000 richer tonight after 30 laps at Lawrenceburg.